Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about my September wrap up. So this month, so what, uh, what am I going to talk about in this wrap up? Sometimes I forget to resume what I'm going to say and I think that's important for you to have an idea um, of what my wrap ups consist of. So I'm going to talk about the books that I read, the books that I'm currently reading and then I'm going to talk about the movies and TV series that I watched this month. Or, well, as we are in um, October 2nd, last month, right? September. So, the books that I read. I finished The Idiot by Fedor Dostoevsky. I'm not going to talk about the synopsis or um, give you many perspectives of what I thought about this book because I'm planning to do a video just about The Idiot, so a review video. So I'm, going, I'm not going to elongate so much in here. I'm just saying that I read it. The only thing that I can say about this one is that I didn't enjoy at all my reading of The Idiot. I thought the book boring all the way through and um, I didn't connect with, with any of the characters in any way. I thought it, it has a lot of conversations and dialogues between characters and I didn't find anything captivating. It was so, I don't know, innocuous to me. Um, if you have a different perspective and if you have read the book, please let me know in the comments like what you thought, if you saw anything positive and if you did, what it was and why. I would really love to hear well, how was your experience of the, the reading of this book because I it was a torture really a torture for me to read this one I was so I was going through the pages and the only thing that I thought about was why am I reading this and I would love to skip some pages that's my thought or that was my thought and yeah it, it was really 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 boring um i was reading before i picked this book up i was reading the brothers karamazov and i have to pick that book up again so i can finish it and i was so much enjoying that one the dialogues the story in itself but specific, specifically the dialogues were so engaging and so interesting and I was really enjoying that one, The Brothers Karamazov but The Idiot? Never mind, it was horrible for me I didn't bring anything with this book for myself like any... yeah, I didn't see any positives about this one so if you did, please let me know, try to convince me why I should like this one, okay? So that was the only book that I read, that I read, well, that I finished, because I started this one in May, so for you to have an idea. I'm so terrible these days, it's been these days, no, this month, these months. It's been really, really difficult. So, the books that I'm currently currently reading. I'm still uh, finishing The Wooden Books by Thomas Mann. I talked about this one in my last video, so I'm not going to say too much about this one either. But just that I'm really enjoying it. The story is becoming more and more intriguing. And... It's, it has some parts that are really fun to read, so it's really enjoyable, really. So, 
really enjoying this one. Then I should have picked up three books because I'm trying to catch up with my 12 books for 12 months challenge. And if you didn't have watched that video, please click in the sh in the chart set in the video in the charts that I'm going to um, leave here and or if you can watch this video till the end and check the link in the box description I'm going to um, place there the video the video that I'm talking about the 12 books for 12 months um, it's not an original idea I picked this idea from another booktuber I have in the description of that video the booktuber that I'm talking about, if you are curious. But um, I should have picked these this books up so I could catch up with my delay. But I haven't yet, but I intend to do, to do that this month. So I should be reading what I'm talking about or what I talk about when, I'm talk, when I talk about running. I think that's uh, the um, title in English, if I'm not mistaken. This is by Aruki Murakami. So this is my Jun, I think. Yeah, I think it's my Jun book for that challenge. So I should have picked this one up. Then I also should have picked up the New York Trilogy by Paul Oster. This is my July book for that challenge. And I should have picked up Noja by Jean-Paul Sartre. This is my August. No, so, I'm sorry. What I talk about when I talk about running it's my July book. Then the New York Trilogy is my August book for that challenge. And then September is Nausea by Jean-Paul Sartre. I think that's how it is. Um, so I should have picked these three books up. I have to do that this month. So I released the videos for that books and catch up with my delay as I've said and yeah I don't know if I'm going to have time to pick other books up because you know well um, I don't know if I should talk about this yet I think I'm going to talk about it so um, I'm what I was thinking to for the month of October, release two videos a week where I dedicated those videos to the horror month, what I'm going to call the horror month. So this idea is again not original. I picked this idea up for another booktuber. She's named Tatiana Feltrin. She's a Brazilian booktuber and she's my favorite booktuber of all time. It was, she was my first video of booktube that I saw ever and she became my favorite. Till today she is my, my reference to booktube in general. And was because of her that I started this channel. So if you speak Portuguese, I think you have there a great source of material for you to watch. Uh, she's amazing. I mean, she does reviews and vlog videos and um, wrap ups as well. And, you know, she's fantastic. I think she has so much of um, general culture and she has so much insight in what she's talk about when she does reviews of books. 
and I love to watch her and every year I think she uh, started doing this in 2012 2012 um, and she has done it uh, till that year every year so in the month of October she dedicates her videos to talk about horror, terror, mystery, um, death, everything related with that, uh, you know, because of October is the month of the witches and Halloween and so on. And so she dedicates every year the whole month, the whole month of October to talk about um, short tales or books um, about, uh, well, that are of that genre, you know? So I was thinking of copying her because I adore her and I think she has brilliant ideas for her videos and I'm going to borrow that idea from her because I think it's so original and so well thought and so thematic. I think that's so funny and uh, great. So I'm going to borrow her idea. I'm going to say that again in the first video that I, that I do of this theme. So I'm planning to release every Wednesday and every Sunday a um, video about a short story or about the book if I have time to to read the book I don't know if I'm going to have time to read the whole book but I'm going to try and yeah um, and I'm going to release and I'm I'm thinking she Tatiana doesn't when she talks about short stories, she doesn't care about spoilers, so she is going to talk about the whole short story without any regard to spoilers, because, you know, it is a short story, so if you don't want to know anything about the, the, the short story, maybe you shouldn't watch the video. And I think, I'm thinking that I'm going to do the same. I'm going to research some the short stories of dif different authors and I'm planning to do videos about that. So another idea that she, or an, yes, another idea that she uh, brings is that in her intro, the intro of her videos, she do she do she does some spooky things so like vampires and images of horror movies and with spooky um, sound effects and of course I copy her again and I'm going to do the same I already prepared my intro for the videos and um, I'm going to intro my videos with some spooky images and spooky sound effects just like her so if you want to um, to go check her out I'm going to leave uh, the link of her channel in the box description I'm going to say this again I'm going to repeat myself you know um, in the first video that is coming out Wednesday this next Wednesday uh, and I'm going to leave the, um, how do you call it, the image of her channel in the screen um, so you to see how uh, her um, image is so it's more easy for you to research uh, her uh, but yeah and if you want to see what I'm talking about, the videos that I'm talking about you just have to scroll to, through a channel so go to a channel and then scroll down and look for Nejdu Horror that in Portuguese 
it's like, or in English, it's like horror month. Mês do horror. And she, uh, you can click any, in any of her videos and you'll see the intro that I'm talking about. So she, for... Usually she differs her intros in some details every year. So I'm really excited to see um, which type of intro she's going to uh, give us this year. Uh, so her video will come out today, Sunday. Um, and I'm really excited to watch it, to see if, the, if she did anything different this year. And I'm planning to do the same, like differ some details here and there. So you have different spooky things. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you will come to my channel on Wednesday, every Wednesday and Sunday this month. I hope you like the genre of horror and you enjoy the videos. So here we go. That's the news that I wanted to share. And moving on with today's video. So, movies and TV series. Movies, I didn't watch any this month, so I, I don't have any to talk to you about, but about series. So, I'm, I'm in a South Korean entertainment. Um, I like I don't know, um, maybe 14 years ago, I saw my first South Korean movie in YouTube. You know, when they released some movies on YouTube, you remember that time? Um, I saw my first South Korean movie and I loved it. I thought it was so cute so romantic and then i was always researching for other south korean movies and that's how i began my south korean fever um south korea is one of the countries that i'm longing to visit i think it will be so different the culture it will be so different from mine so i think that's exciting and i'm planning to learn the language as well not this year maybe a project to next year who knows but i'm so in love with the south korean culture uh, and and you know south korea entertainment so this month i saw three series from south korea and there, there was, uh, they were, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim? So this is a series that I think it has 20 episodes or something. You know, just one season. Um, and the general plot, it's this. So it's about a secretary that is a secretary for a vice president of a large company so he is the son of the founder and he is now working for the company he's the vice president and she he's his secretary and we begin the series when she is still working for him but she she announces that she wants to quit her job and then we see him like um fighting for for her so she doesn't quit and then some coincidences in their story happen and we see that they are connected in some way and some romance begins to happen as well so it's a um, romantic comedy and it's really fun really light light in a way okay so yeah not so light but it's heartwarming and it's funny it's um silly in some parts and it's romantic so what can i say i love com er, 
romantic comedies. It's one of my favorite genres in uh, TV or movies. Yeah, I think they are so entertaining and I love to be entertained. So I love them. And yeah, I'm not going to give much about the story because I think the fun part is to discover what is really happening. But go see it. You will not regret it. The actors are excellent and they are all beautiful. That's something else. <laughs> and you know, it's a type of beauty that we are not so accustomed to see in occidental culture, right? With our Caucasian features. So it's a different kind of beauty and I think that's also important and refreshing to see other types of um, beauties portrayed in the screens. So I think you will love it, so go watch it. Then I saw another South Korean series that was Love in the Moonlight or Moonlight Drawn by Clouds. So I saw these two titles, so I don't know which one is the more correct one, but I think you can research for one or another and I think you will find this series very easily. So this is a, a series that is passed in the Jizong era, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know much about South Korean history, so don't quote me on that and don't come for me saying um, or asking um, questions about South Korean history because I don't know anything. So don't ask me anything about it. But if I remember correctly, this is passed in Juzong, Juzong era. I probably am I'm butchering the spelling of that word, but um, the pronunciation, I mean, of that word, but uh, I think you can understand more or less what I'm saying. And this is a fictional series, so it's not based on facts, historical facts. So this is um, all fictional. And this is about a prince um, and about the girl that comes from poverty. Yeah, poverty. She she was like she lost herself from her mother and she was raised by a man who was in um she was a a, um, a street artist and she became a street artist as well and she's known to be like a love guru of the city and she disguises herself with men clothes so she passes to the out to the outdoor to be a man but she is in reality a girl and she has a, a man name and and so on and so she gives she receives money and she gives advice to men that are in love with women and or with a romantic pair and she gives advice on how they can um, respond to their lover or respond or act around her what should they do to make the other person fell in love with them so she uh, and then um, she's, uh, I think she's in debt with some bandits or not so good people. And then she ends up to be a eunuch. Eunuch? Let me see. Yeah, eunuch. I'm not going to say how that happens. It's something that you have to watch to know. So she ends up to be a eunuch in the palace. And she ends up to be a eunuch for the prince. And she knows the prince before she knows 
he's the prince. You did you understand? So some funny parts happen there. She doesn't um, respond to him as being a prince, so she doesn't treat him like royal highness or anything. So she's like you there and so on, you know. So that that fun, that part is really funny, and some uh, intrigues happen, some uh, games of manipulation happen. You have many characters that are um, fighting for power. So you have the father of the prince, the emperor, that he has. He, he had a traumatic experience with some uh, revolutionaries uh, invading the palace and almost killing him. So he has a trauma about that. And we see that as well. So then we see many adventures with the eunuch and the prince. And some romance happens. And everything in mix. So, ah, and we have a third party that's, that is interested in our main character, that's our girl. That, how is she called? I don't remember. Oh, so pity. So we have, we have a love triangle, you know? So it's really funny. It's all... all it's also a romantic comedy and it's so funny to see the the clothes that they wear and um yeah it's really funny i love this one uh it's and the actor that plays the prince is so beautiful so handsome oh my god i want a south korean boyfriend you know what i mean uh, And yeah, go watch it. And then, what the, ah, then I'm still watching this one. I'm in episode three, so I'm really in the beginning. I'm watching City Hunter. So all the series that I talked about are old, in a way. So City Hunter, I think, is from 2011, 2010. Uh, Love in the Moonlight is from 2016 and What's Wrong with Secretary Kim is from 2018 so they are old, oldish but City Hunter is the older one that I'm currently watching and so this is about um, a boy that he is now 28 or something but we see the history of his parents and the friend of the father because his father was um, security for the president of South Korea and then we watch them go on a mission to North Korea with a bunch of military men it's a secret operation and we see them getting killed by their own military. So in when they are there, the president knows about the operation and wants to cancel it and wants no one to be uh, to be alive to tell the story of that operation so we want everyone involved to get killed and so they do that but one man survives and the man that survives is the friend of the father of our protagonist so when that operation is happening <clears throat> the mother of our protagonist is pregnant so she is giving birth actually um, and then we see that man, the friend of the couple, come back, come back to South Korea and he kidnaps the little child, the little baby, and he raises him 
in Thailand, I think. I think it's Thailand. Um, so we see how that man is strict with the boy. He wants him to know art, martial arts and how to shoot again. And then fast forward, we see him a little bit more older and we see how he involves like in a discussion that has nothing to do with him but is another South Korean man so he intervenes and saves that man and they become friends but the father didn't thought that the idea was so brilliant but he accepts and then fast forward we see him a bit more older and we see him in South Korea and so he has a mission to kill every person that was involved in the killing of the partners of that first operation, that secret operation. So it's a revenge story. Then we have um, romance happening, but so this is the first episode. Yeah. What I talk about is the first and a bit of the second episode. Um, and yeah, I think for you to have an idea what the story is about, I think that's enough. Uh, I'm, it's also, um, a kind, well, it has, it's a romantic comedy, but it, it has action and it's also a drama. So this is more diversified but it's also very interesting and very entertaining, so I'm really enjoying it. Not so much as the other two, I have to say, but um, also really entertaining. So yeah, uh, these were the series that I watched. I hope you go check them, check them out. If you have any suggestions of movies, books, TV series, anything related to South Korea or not, but if it's related to South Korea, I really welcome those su suggestions. And yeah, I think that's it. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Leave a like, it helps a lot the divulgation of the, the video and the divulgation of the channel. Follow me on Instagram, I'll be posting there whenever I have a book review to